Hey yo, what's up guys? It's day two of my build of the ultimate biplane. Today I assembled the tail of the plane from the horizontal stabilizer. As you can see here, I put the tail section on, put the horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer on. Pretty easy to do. And I've installed the rudder and elevator servos. And the manual gives you two choices to install the servos down here or put them in the back. So I chose to put them in the back of the plane because I'm using a 61 four stroke, so it's a little heavier. So I'm trying to use the weight on the back to counteract the uh, CGU for that. And also to get more of a direct link to the uh, elevator and rudder to get a better performance. But um, also, I've just got to put the control the uh, surfaces in, I'll do all that, and then uh, hook up my rudder. I've used a different uh, rudder from the one that comes with. Got this from Hobby King, $4.99. It's like the Adobe one, whatever it's called. But yeah, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to hook this up with the rudder. I think what I'm going to do is um, I'll run the linkage from the server to here. And then maybe have a uh, something connecting, or obviously have something connecting the uh, rudder to here. But I don't know how I'm doing that yet. Or maybe I'll have like a linkage there from the server to the rudder, and also from the server to the wheel. But I'll see what happens first. But yeah, that's day two of the assembly, and um, I hope to. Uh, I think it's the. Let me just check what's next in the manual. After this stage. Yeah, it's putting the throttle server in. So in here somewhere. And then putting the landing gear in. As you can see, you can't actually see where the landing gear goes. There's like little indents here. Yeah, and it's got the bolt in there. But yeah, hopefully I'll get to work on this again tomorrow. And then I'll bring you another update, hopefully. Till then guys, uh, stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed and like the video, thanks.